everyone. Welcome to another episode of A Couple of Coaches podcast with me, Emma Harding, and him, Michael Clark. Mike Clark. I was going to full, full name you then. Was you? That would have been um, interesting. <laughs> I don't care. I embrace it. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, great. Good. Thanks. Yeah, I'm really good. Hair looks nice. Thank you. Curled it. Is that why you're not wearing the headphones? Yeah. I just think, why do my hair and then chuck ugly headphones on the top? Why not just be free? She, she got to the point where you're too cool for headphones I'm now. too cool for headphones. Like, anyone that wears headphones, you're just amateurs. Look okay. at you. I don't even know why I wear it. Yeah, I know. Someone said to me once, why do you wear the headphones? <laughs> and it does, it does help, like, in terms of, like, you can hear how you guys are going to hear it, if that makes sense. Like, you can... Yeah hear if you're too far away from the mic or too close to the mic yeah, I like that. Uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, but um stop licking my foot max um but yeah i'm just over it now you can tell me if i'm too quiet or too loud yeah. can't you all yeah right. i like it i like it i just feel like i'm in the room you know yeah i know what you mean yeah yeah anyway emma how was your weekend not that I, that I don't know what you've done but how was it it was all right for everyone out there the um the TV was um rather taken over the whole weekend, wasn't it? Mm, Ryder Cup. That was really brilliant, wasn't it? Wasn't it good? I didn't watch it. You didn't care, did you? No. Although I did see uh I just see everything on TikTok and I did see a shot that someone did and it was actually pretty cool. He like did it and it like rolled around the corner and then just stopped like right outside the hole. Do you know the yeah, one I mean? I don't know which it was, was really cool. Oh, what was you singing this morning? Which you definitely got it from from it oh europe on fire. yeah no i was USA singing it about us though what did you say I'll go say, and sing it em the coach is on fire white clock fit is terrified, terrified. <laughs> 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 so you paid attention to that bit yeah that was actually quite funny fair play um dad's birthday yeah it was my well, dad's wasn't his birth. birthday well it was a very belated birthday celebration we had a curry on sunday night didn't we yeah that was quite nice love a curry yeah it wasn't a normal curry though, was it? You restricted us a bit. Well, I said let's share one because they are curries are really big and they're really filling. So I was like, let's share a chicken tikka masala and a pilau rice yeah. and a garlic naan. Yeah. Yeah. You had all the naan. I think I only had a little bit. Oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but hey ho. Whoa. Oh, cushions. Behind the cushion. I mean, these cushions make me hot. Do they? They're just so big. I just like them. Um, but yeah, dad's birthday. He got quite a good gift, didn't he? Yeah, we we bought him a flying lesson, so he flies, learns to fly a plane, and it actually counts towards your pilot's certificate. Is that what you call it? Well, no, I think as to become a pilot, you have to have certain amount of hours flying. Obviously, you have to do a right. Course. So that starts it off That's, a bit. That would be like, like half hour. Like, I don't know how many. It's probably like five hundred hours of flying or something ridiculous yeah. like that. Mm. Um, so that will add towards it if he ever wants to be a pilot. Down yeah. the line. But, yeah. You know, so looking know. forward to seeing him shit himself doing that. He'll be all right. He'll be, he'll be in good hands, <laughs> wouldn't he? Yeah. Like, what's his dog doing? Biting your feet. It's like um, we've got a two-month-old puppy again. He's just biting on your feet. Yeah. So we've got the props out today, haven't we, Michael? We have. We've got the props. I hear... Have some fat. <laughs> I have a lovely pound of fat in my hand. It's actually really gross. And there's dog hair attached to it. Is it? That's actually really, really gross. What have you got? Oh, I've got. Dun, dun, dun. I've got a pound of muscle. <laughs> Stay in there. So look, put them, put them next to each other. Yours looks nicer than mine. Mine's disgusting. This feels nicer. Yeah. So look it up upright so people can see the difference between. Let me turn it round. A pound. So this is a pound of fat. And this is a pound of muscle. Look at the difference, everyone. They're really weird because um, we just had to weigh them because we were like, oh, it's a pound. No, it must be a kilo. It's a bit deceiving, isn't They're it? They're very deceiving. Like yeah. This one feels a lot heavier than that, yeah. but actually weighs on our scales like a, a, a smidge lighter. lighter. When I say lighter, I mean, they're both a pound, but by like 0.003 lighter. Yeah. This one feels... Oh, here we go. Oh, oh he's falling. No. Um, this one feels a lot heavier, mm. but um, it's more dense. So quite... Interesting. So the reason for uh, oh God, he just wants to play Carry with on. them. That's the thing. 
Uh, the reason for these are to kind of show people the difference between fat and muscle. Yeah. Because it's, I think it's a massive sticking point for people, isn't it? Of mm. understanding uh, the difference between fat and muscle. Like you hear people say a pound of muscle weighs more than a, is, weighs more than a pound of fat. I mean, a pound is a pound. Yeah. It's the same as a pound of feathers or a pound of gold. It, a pound's a pound. Yeah. Okay. You're just going to have more of one than the other. Mm. Um, and it's similar in this case. Like this is more dense. So a pound of this is going to be smaller than a pound of fat, which you can see. But yeah. obviously for people, it's on a much bigger scale. So if you had to have 30 pounds of fat in your body and 30 pounds of muscle, you can imagine over time, muscle's going to be a lot more smaller. So you're going to be smaller. So mm -hmm. that's where you can um maybe not lose as much weight but have a visual visual transformation yeah visually. um visually is different yeah so which is why pictures are so important, so important rather than yeah. just focusing on the weight on the scales on the, on the scales yeah. yeah i mean obviously we all well, i mean we just talk about this all the time but obviously scale weight is important over time but mm. not to get too disheartened like pictures and the way you your clothes fit obviously are much bigger than much better than the scales because that's essentially how you're going to feel and look mm. um but yeah i do have a picture actually of a, a client which is quite interesting um i'll get nathan to drop it in and he is the same weight in both pictures um but obviously one body composition is completely different to the other because i've he's, got a picture like that as well have you yeah you yeah, might yeah. Have to chuck that in as well yeah, so chuck mine we'll in as well we'll have two where you can see the difference in they're starting at x amount of weight finishing at x amount of weight it's the same but the body is completely changed because they've yeah as we would say, almost like got rid of the fat and gained muscle. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, interesting. They feel a bit weird though, don't they? Yeah, I know. And obviously like, look at the jiggle on that. Uh, yeah. You There's know, like, no when you say my jiggly bits, that's, jiggly bits, that's yeah. why it, it, it does jiggle. You Whereas look at that firm that bit firm, of muscle. Firm bit of girth that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah that was gross. Yeah, um, gross. But yeah, um, we actually had a prop fight, didn't we? Yeah, like, when we're we, like little fucking kids. When we first got them out, we were just like whacking each other with them. <laughs> yeah, that was quite funny. Um, right, so muscle. Let's talk about it. Mm. So like we've just said, muscle is more dense. So essentially takes up less volume yeah. of, your, of your body. So um, yeah, as you can imagine, that's going to make your body look smaller. Um, yet the weight may stay the same. So... Mm -hmm. Very important uh, muscle is, especially for your body composition, as well as obviously strength and being stronger and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It's obviously a, a really, really good thing. And burn more calories in rest with the more <laughs> the more muscle you have. Mate, that's gross. Stop He's licking the fat. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so very, very important thing. Um, but a few things to take into consideration, Emma, how this affects... The scale weight for a lot of people. Yeah. So you have uh, multiple different reasons as to why the scales will kind of spike up when you have obviously more muscle mass. So inflammation, if you've been to the gym, you've trained in, that's going to cause more water retention into your muscles. They're going to fill up. Therefore, the scale weights may fluctuate up mm. um, when it's just simple as muscles being filled with water. Um also, glycogen stores. So glycogen is within the muscles. Um, when we train, they deplete. And then when you obviously eat high-carb meals and stuff like that, they refill up. So hence why when you have a high-carb meal the night before and you have that that big spike in weight, it's the glycogen stores being refilled. But also water will also go in the muscles with the glycogen. He's really biting my foot. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering what he's doing. He's just hanging off the sofa. And then lastly, uh, I mean, everyone knows this one as well, is obviously a high salt diet. So high sodium in your diet is also going to make you retain more water within mm. your muscle. So mm -hmm. you need to get your head around. Like when you have more muscle, you are going to have more fluctuations within them. Three things. But from a visual point of view, um, it is much better for you. So, yeah, just build muscle. I'm going to get our dog something to chew on rather than my foot. Yeah, I so think you, you should. carry on. I'll carry on. I mean, I'll, uh, I'll keep the show going. But basically, yeah, we had a very mature dog. Oh, here we go. 
And now he's uh, just turned into a bit of a nutter. So excuse us, excuse this little, uh, this little pause that we have. And then we will talk about um, body fat and how important that is. What did you just give him? Well, wait till you've got your wait till you've got your microphone. I think it's like beef jerky or something. Nice. Will it you looks, enjoy it? Yeah, it looks like it would take him a while. So I think we've got um, we've got some time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So muscle done. Gone kind of through the basics. Um, but yeah, I mean that's bigger than my bicep. It actually feels quite cool. The muscle. Really, really solid. Can you feel it. Oh, wow. that, that's like gross, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, but yeah, right, let's talk about fu fat. Fuck. <laughs> let's talk about fuck. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> Excuse beat me. Beat that out, no? Uh, let's talk about <laughs> fat and what is fat. So, so tissue that extends throughout your body, Go protects on. all your organs. It does. Keeps you warm in the winter. <laughs> so it is important. It's so important. It is important. Especially for women. Yeah. Like... Body fat is important, like she said, about um, organs and, and all that jazz. So they do say when people do these competitions and stuff and they get to really low body fat, they're mm. actually at a very, very unhealthy stage yeah. um, because your body fat is so, so low that it's, it is quite dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, losing all your body fat is dangerous, but obviously keeping loads of body fat is questionably as the more dangerous. So or, you want to have a sort of optimum amount of body yeah, fat based balance. on you yep. and your height, weight, age and everything like that, yep. which obviously is going to differ for different people. Yeah. And it, it obviously it comes down to how you look as well, how much body fat you're comfortable with having. Yeah. Because that affects you up here a bit, doesn't it? Your confidence. All that yeah. Stuff. And also it's good to note that women have naturally have a higher percentage of body fat. Mm hmm due to genetics, due to hormones than men. So if you're dieting at the same time as your boyfriend or your husband and you can see that, you know, they've lost loads of body fat much quicker than you, that's completely normal. You've just got a higher percentage, so it might take you a little bit longer to to um, get rid of it or also, decrease it. women are genetically meant to hold more body fat, aren't they? Especially yeah. around the older your stomach area. For pregnancy. For pregnancy, do you know yeah. what I mean? So it is there for a reason, but... Yeah. People get a little bit carried away <laughs> and they eat a little bit too much <laughs> and don't move enough. And then this grows and it grows and it grows and it grows to a point where people get very unhappy and then they want to lose it. So, yeah, body fat is essentially extra energy that hasn't been burnt. It's probably the best, yeah. way, best way to pull it. So mm -hmm. if you're burning 2,000 calories a day, but you are consuming 2,500 calories a day, then every day you're putting 500 calories worth Excess. of of body fat on. And mm -hmm. then over a week, that's 3,500 calories, which doo -doo -doo, is roughly about a pound of body fat. So fucking stinks. Does it? I thought it was me. Um, this one doesn't. This one's weird. Right, muscle just wins, doesn't muscle it? Muscle wins, <laughs> mate. Muscle, muscle wins, wins all the time. That. So yeah, that, I mean, that's weird though, isn't it? Because that's just a pound. Mate, yeah. it's so deceiving. Yeah. Because I know I've got, pounds of body fat on me but yeah. you wouldn't think that but i mean i mean obviously it's spread around your body mm. like connected to everything and um but that's all put in one blob but think what is it is it uh you have to eat yeah, is it fine. three thousand five hundred calories to put on yes yeah, so a three... pound of body fat yeah so... so to put on that you've still got to be eating quite a lot yeah. which for some people 3, is a lot hundred above your above thingy. your yeah, yeah. So when, you know, you go out at the weekend and you drink alcohol or you have a takeaway or you have a nice meal, you've still got to be eaten a lot yeah. to put that on. So, so it, carry on, sorry. No, you go. So for example, you know, like you go out at a week at the weekend and you, you've kind of not been great. Um, and just say you're general metabolic rate over, over the weekend because of your steps, you may go into the gym once. Um, and just being alive, you burn 2000 calories a day. Then for you to put this on over a weekend, just think that that means you've burnt 4000 calories over two days. Mm. So four, so four, five, six, 
seven, you'd have to consume 7,500 7, calories over the weekend mm -hmm. for you to put this on. Maths. That's a lot. Yeah, that is. But then a lot. people will wake up from a weekend away out, out, whatever, jump on the scales and go, "Oh, put on a kilo, mm. mate." No, you haven't. You haven't. Do you that, know what I not mean? Not a kilo of this. That's so <laughs> seven thousand five hundred calories over the weekend when you're burning four thousand calories is this. Mm. So to do double that, that that's that's fifteen thousand calories you've got to consume, mm. um, which is mental, really. Yeah. So I think that might be wrong. That mess. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I mean, I wouldn't know. But you know what I, I mean. I would be agreeing, like, yeah, you <laughs> worked that out right. But that's that's what I mean. Like, you burn four thousand and you put on um, three thousand five hundred, which is seven. So I got that wrong. It's more like eleven thousand calories would be to be a kilo. So you've not put this on. No. You've just had from the higher salt, from the higher carbs and glycogen. It's you've just retained just mostly retained. So the people that put on the amount of body fat of the people that do it daily. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier to do it daily than it is to do it over a weekend. So yeah. just remember when you have a weekend away or a weekend out, it's very hard to put this on. Yeah. I mean, obviously you start eating takeaways and stuff like 24 seven, then it's going to rack up quickly, but mm -hmm. not many people do that. Yeah. 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 So yeah, one night of the week going out, having a takeaway or whatever. It's not actually going to make that much of a difference. It's not going to make a difference. Enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's worth just knowing how hard it actually is to put on this amount of body fat. Like mm. it's actually hard. Mm. Like you would literally have to just do, in a short period of time, sorry, you'd have to literally have to do fuck all mm -hmm. and eat a shit ton. So yeah, it's just being lazy really. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And even if you were eating more or say, for example, Christmas, um, I usually say to clients five days of Christmas. So five days where they literally, you know, enjoy yourself, enjoy the food, enjoy whatever, but still maybe keep up your steps or increase your output or something like that. Just so it's going to kind of balance out what you yeah. are eating. Exactly that. And that's just that, that's the name of the game, really. I mean, it's just finding that, that middle ground where you can go and have fun, but not be a pig. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And be lazy. Yeah. Like I had a, uh, one of my clients went on holiday. She went on holiday to Turkey for the week. Weight went up three kilos within f within four days. Um, she was back past her holiday weight and to a new low. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Just from mm. having four days because she didn't put on two or three, ki three kilos, whatever it was, of body fat. Mm. It was just like a big retention. Probably maybe a little bit of body fat, but... Yeah, she was just active throughout the holiday, mm -hmm. mindful of food, still enjoyed a few drinks. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Yeah. It's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's back on my foot now. <laughs> so yeah, interesting one. Mm. Fat versus muscle. Which one would you pick? Both. Ah, good, good answer. I'd pick both. Yeah, I think that is, that is good. And body fat does come with its um, benefits, especially for women. Yeah. My bum's bigger when I've got more, well, more there you body go. fat. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I would say there's something else that's bigger as well. Yeah. You girls. You know what I mean? Get yourself some uh, <laughs> some uh, some bigger boobies if you got some, <laughs> if you got me a body, more body fat. Oh, the way you just said the word boobies just gave Boobie. me the ick. Did it? Did I <laughs> that just was ick? so icky. <laughs> How icky was that? I can't look at you. I don't even boobies. I can't look a, at you. It's a bit of a weird Stop one. Stop it. That, it? <laughs> don't ever say that again. Yeah, true. What would you prefer me Tits, to say? Tits, to be fair. Tits. Yeah. I don't even know why I said boobies. No, I don't know why. I just oh, stopped that's... saying it. That's the third time now. <laughs> just stop. Well, for the uh, about the fourth time on this podcast, Mike has just given uh, Emma the ick. Yeah. Fourth? Fourth. <laughs> it's been a lot more than that. I've given you the ick a few times. But that is it, isn't it? More body fat comes with it. Yeah, it's his advantages. Yeah. Bigger bum. Um, bigger boobs. Mm -hmm. Bigger tits, sorry. Yeah. Um doesn't work the same for men though yeah it doesn't they don't, they don't get a bigger <laughs> they don't get a bigger uh, girth yeah some, some, <laughs> right yeah, some can we just move though? away from the subjects of body parts yeah everyone. i mean we've got a bit carried away yeah we're getting have. attacked by this fucking dog i tell yeah. you what it's quite annoying <laughs> but yeah that's an interesting subject mm. that um I think that is uh that is pretty good i think people will find that quite interesting i think it's very good seeing the, the visual difference the visual difference them. Because, especially if now we've got these, mm. even for us, are we not, ow, 
Max. Even we know the um, even we uh, no. Can you just talk, please? Because he's doing my foot. Yeah, well, I distract him, and you keep saying what you were saying. Yeah, all right, you distract him because he's he's gonna he's feral, mate. See, this dog, this dog had just like matured, and uh, I mean, now he's now he's making everything crack. I mean, we were doing so well. We were twenty minutes in, and he's he's ruining the podcast. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, he's tangled up in wire. Can you even? Can you hear? I can hear. Yeah, there was can a crack. It was crackling for a bit. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Really sorry for the viewers, Max. You fucked the podcast up, mate. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, the visual aspect of things. Yeah, yeah. it's quite. Um, it is very good to see. Mm-hmm. Cause it's quite like you don't you don't see it like this on your body. Yeah, because it's obviously no exactly. Everywhere. And that's like a client that I um I actually posted on my story. A client that I have. She's only been with me for two weeks. And the whole time she's obviously been, oh, the scales are really annoying me. They're not coming down. They've come down by like two kg now, which is really good. But she's not, she's getting so frustrated about it. And then I put her pictures together and the difference in just two weeks is mental. It is mental. Yeah. But she wasn't focusing on that. She was focusing on the scales, which can, it is very easy to, especially if you're weighing yourself every day, but it's not. Yeah. After two weeks, it's not something to be worth stressing about. It's definitely just the understanding, isn't it? Mm. Because it's it's a well, I don't know the word, but we obviously say stop stress about scales. Then their counter argument would be, so why am I weighing every day? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's like if it doesn't matter, why am I weighing? Right, yeah. But it does matter over periods Time. of times because the fluctuations are they're never gonna they're never gonna go away. They're yeah. literally every single client I've had. If you look at their like four six eight month graph Mm -hmm. not one person has a straight line down it is up and down like a fucking yo-yo and that's everyone that's not one person obviously if you are of a bigger body fat percentage like the top end Mm -hmm. you're gonna your initial few drops are gonna are gonna be like straight down like an absolute arrow Mm. but then you're gonna get to a point when it starts to level out that the fluctuations are gonna come and that is the same for everyone and obviously it's important if say after six weeks you've been doing the same thing for six weeks and the weight hasn't come down then we know that there is something that either we're not doing or we need to do more of and that's why we do it but after two weeks you can't really tell much at all no no you can in your pictures though in your pictures there you go that's why that's that's so important and we tell our clients to take pictures tell them to weigh measure and um and obviously your clothes naturally tell you anything yeah you know what i mean so Mm. Important, important stuff there, guys. Mm. Anyway, that was interesting. That was interesting. Hmm. Well, not what we're gonna do with them now. Just <laughs> whack new, each other with them. <laughs> it's a new toy for Max. Yeah. Actually, no, oh that's gross. Oh my goodness! You no, know, we keep these ones. No, but you know we'll turn our head, and then literally the next day, this fat will be all over the floor. Yeah, you're eating it. I wonder what's inside it. I wonder if it's all jelly inside. I don't know. It's quite interesting. Yeah. But yeah, they're good. Anyway. I think that was uh I think that's pretty much it. I think it's time for some chicken wings. We have got the chicken wings in the oven. They're cooking away. I can smell them. Yeah, they are they are brewing. So um yes, Emma. Thank well, you. Well, hopefully that's helpful for you to kind of understand right. and actually What was that? Spud me. Oh, three, two, one. What? Oh <laughs> that hard. <laughs> yeah. I meant like just a no, little No, I wanted th- them to hear that. No, yeah, okay. Like ASMR. Let's just finish that. Finish finish the podcast. ASMR. She's getting abusive again. You can see the abusive. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hopefully that's helped you understand the difference between body fat and muscle. Any questions, shoot them over to at underscore a couple of coaches on Instagram and on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Follow us on everything. We love you. Bye. Peace.